It's time for another pop date with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to trim your dog's nails. It's something that's very important, and some of you may not be able to get to a groomer to have them do it. So you got to step up to the plate and start trimming, guys. And I got some tips to help you do that. They will be following next. But first, I'm going to go put this little guy down. <laughs> guys, there's a lot of places right now that are shut down. So I'm bringing you guys nail clipping and how to do it on your dog. This can be a very stressful process if you do not know how to do it correctly. So I wanted to help you guys and bring you guys some tips so that you can help trim your dog's nails because it's something that's very important to your dog. You do not trim their nails. They can get long and then your dog can have problems walking. They also, if they get too long, they can actually curl back up into your dog's paw and cause them a lot of pain. So it's something that you really have to stay on top of whether or not you can go to the groomer or not. So I'm gonna bring you guys some tips on exactly how to do this to the best of my abilities so that you guys can have a good, healthy dog and their paws can feel good. So guys, first things first, you're gonna need some clippers. Now there's two different types of clippers that you can use. You can either use the guillotine type or you can use the scissors type. I provided pictures of both of them. You also want to have septic powder or a septic pencil on hand in case you cut your dog's nails too short. Yes, they can bleed. Now, in the event that you don't have either of those things available, that's okay. You can also use cornstarch or even a little bit of flour. You just wanna pinch and pack the nail with that so that it stops bleeding. So guys, now let's get on to the tips. The first tip that I have for you today is get your dog relaxed if this is at all possible. It will be much easier to trim your dog's nail if both you and your dog are in a relaxed state. Now, if that's not possible, with some dogs, they just don't sit still. What you can do is restrain your dog basically by standing on the side of a table opposite of the claws that you're training, trimming. Drape your arms and upper body over the dog and trim the front nails. Keep your left forearm over the neck to keep your dog from lifting its head. Hold the paw in your left hand and hold the trimmer in your right and then trim the nails. If, you're, if that doesn't work, there's also a second method. If your dog is too wiggly, try laying him or her on his side. Use your right arm and upper body to keep the dog laying on his or her side. Hold the trimmer in your right hand, use your left arm to keep the dog's head on the table, and use your left hand to hold the paw. Now guys, that you got your dog in position, what you're gonna wanna do is grab your dog's paw, firmly, but lightly. Firm enough that they can't pull it away, but light enough that you're not hurting them. Now, after you do this, you're gonna wanna locate your dog's blood vessels. In dogs that are have light colored nails, you can see the blood vessel. It is a pink thing in their nail. You do not wanna cut past that. So you wanna go a few millimeters, above that and cut, very simple. In dogs with dark nails, it's a little bit harder. You kind of have to do a trial and error approach. Now I'm gonna describe that. It, it's not hard, but it is a little bit more nerve wracking. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your dog's toenails and cut a small piece. Now when you cut that piece, you're gonna see in the inside of the nail, you're gonna see some areas that are white. What you wanna do is you wanna keep trimming small pieces until you get to a piece that has a section that has a white chalky ring with a black center. When you get there, stop cutting. So guys, you got the nails cut. One's bleeding, oh my God, what do I do? First off, don't panic guys, do not panic. If you accidentally cut your dog's nails too low, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you get the bleeding stop. Get a septic pencil, get septic powder, cornstarch, or even flour, and pinch a bit into the end of the nail, and that should stop the bleeding. If for some reason the bleeding does not stop after 30 minutes, you need to get to a vet. Plain and simple, okay? Not to be dramatic, but you don't want your dog to lose too much blood. One other thing that I wanna mention is do not forget to trim your dog's dew claws. Unfortunately, Dancer does have one. He had most of them taken up, but one regrew. And you do have to trim those because they can actually curl around and hurt your dog's leg. So you need to make sure to trim them and you just follow the same procedures that I've mentioned. So guys, that's all that you need to know. You're done. Now it's time to praise your dog, give him a treat, tell them that they were a good boy or a good girl, and move on with your life. You're done. The panic is over. You can calm down. Make sure to give your dog lots of praise because that's what's important. So guys, this is the steps you use to cut your dog's nail. I know it could be a little bit nerve wracking, but it's something that must be done. I promise you, it has to be done. So guys, that's the steps. I'm gonna go get dancing now so we can finish up this video. 
So anyways, guys, now that we got all the important stuff out of the way, it's time for our favorite section, our Poppin' Play, where you get to see this little guy have all sorts of fun. And here he is. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pup Dates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those button, 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 button. Me and Mr. Dancer are going to go take a nice little nap because he's been working hard today. So anyways, guys, this is Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Have a good day, everyone. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.